All right, guys, it is the end of week 11 of our 52 week series, and it has been an exhausting week. It's been fun, it's been exciting. It's been a little bit different, a lot more action outside the office and deals. We've had both mine and Marco's birthday celebration that you guys enjoyed. Uh, the Lambos, epic, but probably the best thing we've done all week, so. Yeah, I definitely wanna give a shout out to JJ at Auto Dreams and Chris at Prestige Auto. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you guys for ruining the Audi for us. Now we are <laughs> on the hunt for Huracan Evos or a Perfamonte because those things were per definitely a perf. Yeah. Those things were bad. I'm not going to lie. So let's do the numbers real quick. Guys, if you're following along, you know that every week we have a sales goal of $273,437.50 that we try to reach in sales Monday through Friday. This week, we surpassed our goal by 24%. Again, coming in at $337,950. That's pretty good considering that him and I have been out of town. That's 21 watches. Yeah, five, out, yeah. five days out of the week. Uh, we did 21 watches, 18 retail, three wholesale. We're still in that kind of that slow period where we're focusing more, less on sales and more on building the back end of the business. And actually we've been, last week's numbers were lower. We were focused on building our sales team. The sales team, Dylan, they were the guys that did all these sales, Dylan and Mike and our interns, they were the guys that were going to work while we've been gone doing all this stuff. So yeah. guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Obviously y'all see this tomorrow. Uh, y'all are kicking and we're getting even better. We expect things to start ramp. They're gonna slow down again this week, maybe. We expect them to start really ramping up about the middle of April after tax season, you know. Let's jump into some thoughts on the week. Uh, first thing that comes to mind, new Surette. Yeah. What Nusserat. did you think? It was good. I, I think it's more of an experience. Um, I think we prefer Nick and Sam's. Absolutely. I will, yeah. uh, $18,000 at that. I feel like you just, you're paying for a lot of show and you guys know I love my Nick and Sam's. Honestly, the show there is better. The food is better. Uh, I We did it once. We got it on video. We've done the whole social media thing, which is what do you think what you go there for? But I'm Nick and Sam's till I die. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to, yeah, we Definitely fly out. Agree. Yeah. As of the time of you watching this video, it's actually Sunday morning here. We're flying back in and going straight to Nick and Sam's <laughs> just to get that taste back in my mouth. So uh, if you guys go there, I mean, get the flash. Honestly, your, be your money is better spent at Nick and Sam's. That's just my personal opinion. Next big topic, Roman Scharf, Adrian. Again, happy birthday, Adrian. Roman, much appreciated. We enjoyed coming out. We were glad you hosted us. Enjoyed the gun range and enjoyed seeing your facilities, the team, the culture, everything you've created. It's bad. Uh, thank you for the business insight. We got a lot yeah, of a lot was, of valuable information. Everything was definitely much appreciated. The gun range was definitely a highlight, Roman. <laughs> yeah. You definitely are on par with Texas. I've got to say, you've got some good stuff. But not Texas yet. So you come out. We're going to show you. We're going to take you up in a helicopter and let you shoot some hogs. Uh, and then we're going to obviously finish at Nick and Sam. So uh, next thing. Oh. Guys, you know we love uh, we love flying people out to see our business. We've got Adrian coming in next week as the last YouTube winner. We're doing it again, only this one's gonna be a step above. Roman and Adrian and Marco and I all talked about going to the IWG watch and jewelry show in Miami in April. Guess what? We're gonna take one of y'all with us. So, you know the drill. Share this video on your social media, but we're gonna add a twist to it. Everyone that shares it on their social media, come back. Give us your best comment, funny, quirky, yeah, clever, whatever it is, something that has to do with something you saw in the video. We are gonna sit down on Friday before we film the outro for the next video and we're gonna pick a winner. You're gonna fly to Dallas with us, spend the night with Roman, Adrian, myself, Marco going out, then we're gonna hop on a flight and you're gonna go tag team IWJG with us. You want a real watch buying experience? You don't get it anywhere else than a jewelry show. You talk about walking up to a table oh, yeah. and it's two, three, four, five million dollars worth of watches sitting on one little table. And hundreds and there's of them. There's hundreds of tables. It's gonna be an epic experience. Plus you're in Miami. So get to, get to work sharing this video on every social media platform you can. Every time you share it, come back and drop us a clever comment. The more comments, the better. The more shares, the better. So good luck to those. Uh, Marco, phone calls versus text. Okay, guys, as much as I appreciate the overwhelming you know, phone calls I'm getting, I decided the best method to talk to me would be through text messaging. If you're going to text me a watch you'd like, please screenshot that watch, send it to my cell. The next thing, if you want to sell your watch, please come with me as much information as you can about this watch. It helps me get it to the right sales guy or myself, Anthony, Dylan, all the rest of the team can help out with that. And that would be highly appreciated. Everything would be 
either through WhatsApp or through text. As much as I'd love to talk, it's just it's just not enough hours in the day to keep up with all the phone calls. And we do appreciate. We love yeah, we, we love, love hearing that you guys love the channel. That's more of a show, tell us how much you love the channel on the channel because we read through all the comments. Uh, and, and to elaborate a little bit more on that, when he needs information, if you're looking for a watch, guys, screenshot the perfect watch you want. If there's a couple you're interested, go to the websites, screenshot them, send them to us. If you're looking to sell a watch and you've got something, send us a picture of it, send us some specs. We need to know what year it is. We're always gonna ask you, what year is it? Is it new or pre-owned? What's the condition like? Does it come with everything? Do you have a number you're in mind you're looking to get to it? Are you looking to sell it? Are you looking to consign it? The more information you can give us, the faster we can get it processed versus you just texting us saying, hey, looking to sell a watch. Because then we've got to respond, well, what kind of watch? Then you got to do this. And then we got to keep going back and forth. Let's just expedite it and make it real easy. Also, we talked about transitioning a little bit of our business model due to some uh, insight from Roman's idea. I think we're going to start focusing heavily on the consignment aspect of business. There's not a lot of retail spaces out there where you can actually walk in and you can browse inventory that's all on consignment from people all over the country. Kind of seems like a... It's a win-win too for win. our customers because yeah. they'll also get a little bit more money out of it because our buy price versus our consignment price is obviously going to have a difference of roughly 5 to 10% and that goes into your pockets if you can sign so you know we're at, we're going to do a flat rate fee we haven't decided fees yet but we'll update you guys with that too but they will be better than any other consignment sites you can find online anywhere at any jewelry jewelry store auction house anything we will match or beat you now we will beat any consignment price so guys if you're interested in selling some watches instead of selling it right outright to a dealer call us first and consider consigning it we have a huge network on social media in our store our presence we can get your watch sold faster and met you more money. So uh, last but not least, two more things. Guys, you know we've been trying to build up this network as we have started traveling a lot more. As you can see the beautiful Virginia backdrop to us. We, we've got DC in front of us. We're gonna start traveling more. We wanna get out, we wanna meet you guys. So I'm gonna drop a link to our network landing page where you can go on and you can drop your name, the city you live in, and your email. And we are creating a database of people all over the country so as we start traveling, we can start organizing these fan meet and greets, dinners, uh, watch education seminars, whatever. That's just for us. We talked to Roman, we've got something big in the works, so stay tuned. We're gonna do a massive fan meet and greet, either in Miami, LA, I'm not sure yet. Just stay tuned in other, the other videos, it's coming soon. But drop your information down there so we know where you're at. Guys. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. That's the second one every, I've seen. Every 20 minutes, right? Every, <laughs> I like this. I could, be, I could get used to that. Uh, not if you live here. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed shooting it. So it's if you know the drill, time. guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as it helps us grow. Hit the bell so you're notified next time we drop a video. Those of you that have been following along consistently, you know that every Monday morning at 10 o'clock we post this video detailing the our accounting for the week before. We've got, we are at week 11 finishing out. We've got 40 more weeks to go to get that sales goal. So I hope you guys stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.